was, you know, having to be really disciplined or controlled. And it isn't. Self-awareness is you knowing what you're doing and doing it anyway, obviously, but you're still knowing that it might not be good for you. <laughs> you know, you want to stop smoking weed <laughs> and you smoke it and you know it's not good for you and you still smoke it. Your awareness, you have awareness, man. You do have awareness, self-awareness. So, pat yourself. What's going on, folks? We are back. I don't know. Just, I'll make another video today before I do it. And as you can tell, same background because it's the same day. I want to just go ahead and jump on and share with you guys. Last video, I was talking about how important it is to make sure what you're consuming, what you're feeding your brain, um, and how that can change you, I would say, tenfold. And we might not see it, um, but we definitely will be more aware. And today, I was listening to another Wayne Dyer, of course, audiobook, and he stated that if... Um, you watch some type of, uh, I would say, motivation, inspirational, whatever kind of video. It makes you think, right? For example, let's say you want to work out, right? And when you wake up in the morning, you question, you talk to yourself, and you say, wow, I should be, you know, I could be working out right now. And you don't do it, you go to work, you do what you gotta do. That right now, that, that awareness has... You know, at that awareness, you already have elevated. You're already at another level. You're not what you used to be when you were kind of just not really aware of it, right? Um, another example, when, you know, you might want to lose weight, right? Or you might want to, um, uh, maybe you might want to start reading books. Maybe some, some type of simple habit. You don't do it because you still, you know, you're still who you are. But you think about it. Um, you keep on eating the, the things you don't want to eat, but you're still thinking about it. You're like, wow, I should not be eating this. And you still eat it. But that awareness right there is growth. So sometimes we confuse self-awareness where with like having to have this, you know, be this perfect on the T person and not and not be able to like, I guess, live your life on, a, on a, another way I would say perfect situation, but it is not. Self-awareness is you're doing the things that you're doing and you feel like you want to change, but you still do it, but you still, you do think about what the alternative is. Right there for me blew my mind because oftentimes I know self-awareness, self-awareness I thought was having to be really disciplined or controlled and it isn't. Self-awareness is you knowing what you're doing and doing it anyway, obviously, but you're still knowing that it might not be good for you. <laughs> you wanna stop smoking weed <laughs> and you smoke it and you know it's not good for you and you still smoke it. Your awareness, you have awareness, man. You do have awareness, self-awareness. So pat yourself in the back because <laughs> you have self-awareness. Uh, maybe you wanna lose weight um, and maybe eating that pot of ice cream is not a good idea. You eat it anyway, but you know you shouldn't have eaten it. So, that self-awareness, you know what I mean? So these are things that we kind of kind of overlook and we feel that we're not, you know, we're not worthy, we're not good enough, we're not those people that are are, are in tune with themselves, but we are. Everybody's in tune with, their, with themselves. Everybody has awareness. It's just learning to apply it and actually the potential and the level of it that we have. Everybody has self-awareness, but others have a higher self-awareness than others might be. I know my levels are probably of, are at the lowest compared to other individuals that I follow and I, and I look up to. But the fact that I'm, you know, talking about this and discussing it with you guys raises my level of awareness and hopefully raises yours as well. If you're listening to this right now, there's an awareness in you that made you click on this video and that you listen to it. If not, you would not have listened to it, right? So the fact that we're, that you're listening to me, that you're watching this type of video, already example exemplifies how much awareness you have so if we're feeling like oh well i'm not i can't do it or i don't have that level of awareness or i don't have that insight you do 
you already do we all have it inside of us it's just tapping into it and I guess this video is a reminder to you guys or ladies gentlemen folks anybody watching that you have their awareness it's just that sometimes you tap into it sometimes you don't but there's it's there it's it's lurking around it's, it's relaxing it's right behind you it's it's around us it's just being that in tune to it and what can help you get in tune with your awareness they learning to to love, love yourself one and also um, embracing your I would say your flaws whatever it is that you feel that it's not good of yourself obviously and then three I would say just um, listening to yourself as I said in other videos really really having at least five or ten minutes with yourself with no distractions um, put your, your phone on silent mode airplane mode whatever it may be but no distractions and really listen to how you talk to yourself how you talk about others, how you how you actually uh, look at it, other problems, other ideas. Like how, you start to find out how many people live inside of your head. My mind is super super loud when I am in a quiet place or walking my dog or somewhere when I'm silent. My mind is loud. I'm talking about like parties going on in there, and you would only be able to realize that when you kind of stop yourself and actually listen to yourself. And the more you do that, the quieter it gets in your mind. And the quieter it gets in your mind, the more you kind of kind of go into the actual uh, core of your mind. And that is what this channel is about. Accessing that, tapping that, and living by that. As opposed to allowing your other voices, all your other loud voices in your mind to take over and let you live what you're supposed to be living here for. Because as Wayne Dyer said today, it is a lot easier to not do what you came here to do because it's a lot easier. It's a lot harder to do what you're here to do. And that hit me hard. That gave me a, some chills because so much resistance to doing the things you feel you must do. But it's so easy to do things that are not really productive for you or not really who you are not really what you're here to do it's so e it's a lot easier to do those things as opposed to doing the things that you feel you're here to do that you feel you're here to not not somebody else not outside noise what you hear what you as an individual are here to do it's a lot harder to live like that so um let's try to do that this year let's tap into it chip away every day one day at a time peace guys